Today it's going to be a pure nostalgia day with this old school CRT and the NES. Because we're going to be playing one of the first light gun games that has been released and this is going to be a blast to the past. So let's go. <laughs> hey hey, welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be doing, yeah this is not really an unboxing, but I've been collecting all kinds of cool stuff. It's going to be Time to take a close look at the old school Nintendo Zapper. Yep, it's going to be old school days where I, oh, like this is one of those things that I started with when it comes to playing some games. Recently, thanks to a collector, I had the option to buy a couple of those games like Wild Gunman and many others. Having over here the Duck Hunt and the Super Mario. We're having all kinds of games that we can actually play. However, we're going to be using, of course, a CRT because there is no other way to play these games. And it's going to be absolutely fun. And I realize now... I have triple zipper fun. Okay, I have no idea why I have triple zipper. Yeah, there's a break for it. But nevertheless, it's better to have one at least that seems to be working because some of these things I understand will give us problems. But let's see if they are still working nowadays. But let's combine this with the old school CRT I've been laying around. Today we're going to be using this old school Philips one. I've picked it up for like three dollars on the thrift market shop thingy and it's going to be epic because this thing is super easy to use, comfortable and because it's so lightweighted. However, it does have like an Oni PAL feature so we're going to be using it with my old school PAL NES. Oh man, it's going to be absolutely blast to the past with this old school beast. I do wonder if it still works. I have two of them and I think one of them, I think this particular one, had been, let's say, checked out and everything seems to be working fine in the past. But you know, with these old consoles, most of them, it's highly possible that we're going to be needing a recap or we need to have some maintenance because these things are quite old now. I can still remember, let's switch it to the 50 Hertz, that I'm having like a lot of problems with these freaking devices. However, so we're starting off with this freaking thing and plug it in or what? No, still need to plug in the power supply because that's one of the things I'm always freaking forgetting now. Let's see if it even boots up with the original power supply. Okay, so the LED turns on. I've connected it at the side over here with the old school SCART. I hate those RF units. Let's get this thing into the AV out. And let's start off with the old school duck on game. Let's see if this like reseller or my friend of mine cleaned it up or at least that it starts working. I'm not going to be blowing it. Not blowing anything today. Let's slide it in. There's not a lot of resistance, so there's still an original connector in this. And we just have a white screen. Okay, that is not good. But after a couple of tents, I've managed to get myself the Duck Hunt game so to be working, or at least the duo cassette. So let's try Duck Hunt and Let's enjoy myself some old school gaming. It's absolutely a cable nightmare. Next thing that we need to do is plug in the controller itself because we need to navigate the menu. And let's see, let's choose Duck Hunt. And if I'm saying it correctly, I've been plugging this in the controller port number two. This is my backup light gun. And let's see if we can even play the game. I'm going to be putting the NES on a different location because this doesn't really work at all. And where's the audio? Does it work? I highly doubt it. Nope, I think it's not working. Hmm. So let's get this show on the road and let's play some duck hunts. The audio seems to be working fine. Okay, so I did notice before I tried to be testing it that I did have some problems with the light gun or the zipper itself. Let's check out if it actually works out. Here we go. Oh, see it, it does work. Okay, so no cheating, no cheating wicket. Okay, let's see if we can do it without cheating. Okay, it's okay. No, still got one shot left. Man, what's going on with this fucking thing? Man, this thing is not accurate. So the thing that we're going to be doing is like reconnect another one. Let's check out if this is going to be any better. I have three of them, so we can just mess around with it. Uh, let's check if this is going to be solving our issue. I do have this idea that these things are not accurate at all. I've been trying out those, let's say, clone versions, and they were quite good. Or it has to do maybe of the screen itself. Okay. Oh. That's kind of cool. Okay, and the last one. But I'm just going to be honest, I need to put it really close to the screen itself to get actually something going on. 
but this seems to be working. I do have the idea that this other one that seems to be working better. There's nothing to see like when it comes to other problems or no, so it seems to be something internally. Man, what an old school days it is. Duck hunt, oh man, yep, there we go. <laughs> this feels like cheating. Okay, let's put a little bit more of a distance between it. Oh, <laughs> going great. Okay, 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 let's do it again. Oh yeah. So let's try the clay shooting game. That is really cool. I can still remember that they put it on the clones devices a lot. There. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha! There we go. Woo! Another thing I do wonder is like how it is when it comes to, let's say, what kind of games are actually on the NES. Because I only experienced a couple of them. I think back in the day and I had multi-game cards, I can still remember having some of them. I've never really played this because my first light gun I had for the NES didn't really work like this one does. Maybe it also depends what kind of television you're having, but... Perfecto! Super Mario is this, yes! So one of the weird things I've noticed with the Super NES, like when you're looking at the resistance, at first I was thinking there was something wrong with the pins, but this cartridge, you can just see how much force I need to actually do having of pushing this in. And when you're looking at another game, let's see the Wild Gunman. Let's check out if we have the same thing going on. No, not at all. Oh, but it seems to be working. But another thing is that you heard that the audio was quite loud, but now it isn't. So I am guessing that there was something wrong with the NES itself. So this thing actually needs a recap. So next game, let's see the Wild Gunman. We're going to be using the game A and then going to be going for the gang itself. Oh, that sound. It's maximum volume almost. Doesn't matter. Let's see how this actually works out. Oh, this was the game that I actually played a lot. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay, so another thing I wanted to check out. So this seems to be working fine, so I need to keep this thing closed. But let's check out what is going to be opening when I'm going to be using the orange one. So what I'm going to be doing is putting this on top over there. Let's go to the next round. <laughs> ah, this is a lot of fun if you're actually having a good working, like zipper. Oh yeah, again, even some extra bonus. Nice, nice. <laughs> okay, we're getting another one. Do, 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 do. Fire! Ooh, I didn't need to click twice. So, I can see that there is like this certain amount of time you need to be under the other guy. I must say that I do love this one. Okay, so I'm guessing it's going to be way more tougher to now to actually do this. Fire! Ooh, 0 0.32, that is really nice. Okay, I am on a roll here. So it seems to be working just fine. Getting 6k of a bonus. Okay, let's go to the next guy. 0 0.7, I need to be... Wow, <laughs> 0 0.28, so it's even faster than the previous one. Oh man, that is this is a lot of fun. Come on, I need to actually... Okay, I'm guessing the other one's going to be slower. Okay. There we go. Wow, 1.30. Okay. See, I'm going to good at this game. But let's go to the other one and connect the orange zapper. Ooh. You lost. Yeah, that's a fact. Okay. Let's see if it, this thing isn't that great or is there any problems with it. So this is absolutely going back to the past and it was absolutely a blast. I hope you also enjoyed this video. So when it comes to the light gun experience, I had two moments in my life where this was actually the first time and Time Christ for the PlayStation was the one that actually like sparked my plug or how do you say that like ignited my wicked retro gaming fire. Having us just like, oh, this is so cool. 
Like where this was just fun at the time, of course the technology was not that advanced like when you're going to be into the, say, the 90s, but still it's a lot of fun with some cool games like the Wild Gunman. I picked it up from a fellow collector for a quite a good price and having also the option for the Duck Hunt game. I know there are a lot of cool other games out there. I think Hogan's Hogan Alley or something like is another one, but some of them can be very expensive. Is it really worth it? Depends how much nostalgia you have with it. Thank you all for watching and it will be great to see you in the next video.